Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. We're at the 2013 Interbike and we're having an amazing time. We were walking down the aisle though and saw this saddle that reminded me of when I lived in Japan. When I was in Japan on my mission, I was actually riding a bike every single day and I rode a Brooks saddle. It was the most comfortable saddle I ever rode in my life because the leather, well, let me tell you, let me be clear. When I first got the saddle, it hurt my ass worse than any saddle I ever had in my life. But it was just like a Western saddle. After a little bit of time, it broke in and it was amazing. Every day I got up and rode that saddle, I thought, man, this is the best saddle in the world. We were walking by here, I saw a saddle that was very similar to it. So I thought, you know what, let's stop in, let's check this saddle out, and let's bring the information to you. So, that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready to talk about your saddle? Yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Do you have some energy? That's more <laughs> like it. Let's get after this, let's talk about this. Tell me all about this saddle, why it's cool. You say it's the best saddle in the world. Let's hear about it. Sala Anatomica is the world's most comfortable bicycle saddle. Yeah, and that is one heck of a name, Sela Anatomica. You'll never forget that one, right? <laughs> About five minutes. Go ahead. Sela Anatomica has yep. a patented slot, which was developed by my brother Tommy, who rode 25,000 miles a year. Nice job, Tommy. He rode Brooks. He was uncomfortable, so he set about developing this new saddle. And here's the thing about this saddle. When you ride, the two sides of your body move independently. Your sit bones sit on either side of the slot and they move independently. In addition, for men and women, the slot reduces any pressure on the perineal nerve. So your junk don't go to sleep. That's exactly right. Men call us, they don't want to have that conversation with me, but we have very frank conversations with men and women. As you ride this saddle, what happens is you settle into the saddle and you have a very hammocky feeling as you ride the saddle. So Brooks claim that they're the most, world's most comfortable bicycle saddle is no longer true. This is the world's most comfortable bicycle saddle. Very cool. We had a woman here today from a big bicycle store in Dallas. And I didn't know who she was when she came up to us. Yeah. And she sat down in the chair over there and she said, I just came back from a ride across America. We started in Portland, Oregon, and we went all the way to Maine. Yeah. She said, when I started out, I was the only one in our group on the Sela Anatomica saddle. She said, we brought three of your saddles along and we had to have 15 more shipped to us because by the end of the tour, we had everybody on your saddle. Awesome. So if you're riding this uh, saddle with or without shorts? What's the best? Cycling shorts. <laughs> you can do either. Most people do ride with cycling shorts, but it's not a, it's not required on this saddle because it is so supple and it moves so easily with the body. Let me just tell you one more thing. We had another rider who bought a brand new saddle, mm -hmm. went out and rode a double century, yeah. sent us an email and said, I was as comfortable at the end of the ride as I was at the beginning. And those are really, those are true testimonials from our customers. That's awesome. So what about different people have different sit bone sizes? Obviously specialized, all these companies, you go sit on this pad, it measures sit bones for you. All of a sudden you go, bam, that's the saddle I should be riding. How are you addressing that? Or do you need to address that with the saddle and why? There are some people for whom their sit bones are too wide for our saddle, but that's rare. Most, most, most riders, uh, most riders sit bones fit well within our C form on the back of the saddle and it's not a problem. Okay, so gram junkies, you know, you're riding S works, putting all the money into it. How much does the saddle weigh? And uh, I mean, what have you got for them? Anything? This saddle weighs about 450 grams. It is heavy but the riders find so much comfort in this saddle that they're willing to take the extra weight in order to have the comfort on the road. Okay, so uh, do you have carbon fiber rails on it? Do you have all the other rails? You obviously don't have carbon fiber rails because you couldn't support with carbon fiber the length of that whole stand. We have the correct? longest, we have the longest rails in the industry. Yeah. Provides the longest, the greatest amount of setback. We will be moving next year to some titanium rails on this saddle, uh, but that's in the works right now. Excellent. What kind of leather do you work? What kind of leather do you use? And can people customize the color? Is this the colors that they come in? We currently offer six colors. We have two different kinds of leather. One is a watershed leather. One is a traditional veg leather. That means it's tanned in vegetable oil. The watershed leather is water repellent. Um, the veg leather is a longer lasting leather. The veg leather is more 
is a little bit stiffer than the watershed leather. Uh, it takes a little bit more time to become as comfortable as the watershed leather is, but it is a, probably a more durable leather. What's your warranty? We warranty our saddles unequivocally for one year against, against uh, malfunction. Uh, our return rate is, is less than half of 1%. Awesome. And uh, how do we find the product if we want one? www.sellaanatomica.com. That's S-E-L-L-E-A-N-A-T-O-M-I-C-A.com. All right, everybody. So I'm going to try out one of these saddles right here in front of everybody. And uh, let's drop that. Let's not drop it. We might be all right here. Holy cow. What is this thing on? Is this solid? Must not be on the trainer to where it can run. That's okay, though. So, sitting on this uh, right now, and uh, not a bad feel. Kind of feels like uh, I need to go on a 100-mile ride, see what we uh, end up like at the end of the day, and uh, if the chamois cream needs to be used or not. But uh, overall, I like the fit of it, and uh, I like the fact that the, uh, the saddle will fit a variety of people, and uh, we've got a lot of people riding that different bike. I think it's a, it's a great way to go so far. Actually, I haven't rode it for a century yet, so I don't know how to give you full feedback on it. But uh, if you're looking for a unique saddle or something you'll like long term, you'll probably really enjoy it. I can tell you the Brooks saddle uh, experience I had was amazing. Uh, the only reason I'm not riding a Brooks today before I met these folks is the weight. Uh, weight was a big issue for me uh, when I'm racing those long races. Every gram counts. So I didn't go that way. But that saddle, once it was broken, there was nothing like it. And I, I got the feeling that this will be exactly the same way. So really excited to give one of these a try. I think I'm gonna get one, put it on the fat bike. And uh, I do a lot of miles on the fat bike training for Leadville. And this would be an awesome saddle to, uh, to do that in. So if you have any questions or concerns, make your comments below. We're gonna give these guys the link so they can answer all your questions, help you out. And uh, tell us where we can find uh, there's your mic right there. Tell us how you can find the saddle so they can buy it if they want to and uh, what your dealers are on the uh, actual saddle itself. We have a dealer locator on our website that you can check out to see if there's a dealer located near you. We are distributed internationally through a variety of dealers. Dealers should call us direct to find out who our distributors are. And, and if what you else? want to have a really frank talk about your junk going to sleep, Give her a call. She'll be glad to talk to you, and we'll get this all figured out. So stay tuned, and have a great day. And most importantly, cycle strong.